Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person and what they're thinking, feeling about you, what their intentions are towards you and or next actions. Um, as always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Capricorn. What messages do you have for Capricorn Spirit? What does Capricorn need to know regarding this other person, this connection? What does Capricorn need to know? The Moon, Pisces Energy, and Eight of Wands. Interesting. So maybe something here hasn't been communicated or said. Someone could be feeling like they're in the dark. There could be secrets here. Why is the Moon here? Five of Swords. Yeah, there's some sort of secret here. Why is the moon here? King of Wands reverse. I got control. Someone wants to control the situation by not saying something. Or perhaps they feel if they were to say this, like if, if this secret were to come out or someone would find out the truth, it would cause a lot of problems for them. It would piss someone off. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I have the star at the bottom of the deck, though. Aquarius energy. It's almost like someone's hoping that this does not get out. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. The Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. King of Cups reverse. Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, reverse at the bottom of the deck. Something's off here, guys. There's some there's something here that I feel I'm I'm picturing like a ticking time bomb. I feel like someone could have been ghosted here or there there was a lack of closure in the end of a or at the end of a situation. Um Can I get one more, please, for the Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Hangman. Ace of Cups and the Sun. So I feel like despite the fact that maybe this was a good connection at one point, I think someone here, um, and I say someone because this is what's going on in your connection, you're both here. So it could be both of your energies here. Take it as it resonates for you. But I feel like this was someone who they withdrew ghosted, whatever the case, they withdrew and I think it hurt someone. But I'm trying to figure out if this secret is the reason why something didn't work out or whatever was hidden. Tell me more about the moon. Can I get one more? Death reverse, Scorpio energy. We keep getting these major arcanas, lovers reverse. Yeah, this ended in a separation. Someone could have been hiding something or, or being deceptive or trying to maybe play dirty here. I feel like there wasn't closure, like something didn't fully end. And I think it leaves, you know, it, it kind of leaves you both stuck actually. I feel like you're both stuck in this connection even though it's not doing well. And I'm wondering if this secret, if you already know about it, Capricorn, or if it's still affecting this connection. I guess we'll find out when I look at how you're both thinking or feeling about each other. So let's see who we can get here. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn and their person. What energies are they bringing to this connection? Tell me about Capricorn's energy in this connection. Tell me about Capricorn's energies. Capricorn, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energy that they resonate more. Poetic justice and inner voice. Okay. 
Tell me about Capricorn's person. The person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? I got two. See? Broken silence, hidden feelings. This person was hiding something from you. Um, maybe how they truly felt or what was going on. There was something hidden there. Maybe they want to break the silence here with broken silence and tell you what's going on. I feel like in your mind, you just want things to be fair to you. You want justice. You want things to be balanced. I'm also getting like perhaps um, some of you already kind of took charge of the situation. You could have broken things off with this person. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah, that, I, I definitely feel like that's your energy. I feel like you took charge of the situation. Um, in whatever way that was, maybe you have confronted this person or found something out because that did show up in another reading for you. Um, and, and whatever you found out, you decided to do something about it. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. I replay our conversations over and over. Well, the reason they're doing that is because they're not, they don't have access to you. Spirit, can I get an, uh, another energy for Capricorn's person? Can I get another energy please for Capricorn's person? What can you tell me about their person? I wish I could go back in time. Yeah, so I wish I could tell you how I feel at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so this person, whatever happened between you, I don't think that, you know, maybe they didn't have the opportunity to come clean. Maybe that was kind of taken from them or they haven't fully expressed how they feel about you, about the situation. Um, Maybe you don't want to hear from this person, you know? Maybe that's a re one of the reasons why this person is still hiding their feelings. But they are having regrets here with, I wish I could go back in time. So let's see what else we can get for you. Spirit. Tell me more about Capricorn's energies. Tell me more about Capricorn's energies. Eight of Wands, reverse. I think you cut this person off. Or maybe you're debating. Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about Capricorn. The Sun. You're very clear about like what you want to do. It's very interesting why the Two of Pentacles is here because when I put the Sun down, I thought they know. Six of Wands. The full reverse and judgment. The tower reversed. So I feel like you made a judgment call here. Poetic justice judgment is here, which tells me that I feel in your mind you're thinking about balance, especially two of pentacles as well. I think you want something that's fair to you. I think you're tired of the games or being... Um, What's the, what's the phrase, I'm like juggled back and forth? You, you're no longer interested in that. I think you cut off communication with this person or messages are blocked in some way with the Eight of Wands reverse. Um, and then I got an interesting message with Six of Wands here, um, especially with this deck. The I feel like there's a lot of eyes on this situation like more than one person knows about this maybe there's been gossip drama um but i think you came out on top capricorn i think you ended up like looking good in this situation now with the full reverse i feel like you're not completely free of this person i think energetically there's still some you know, and maybe it, it annoys you, but I feel like you haven't, you're not completely over this person or over what happened. Um, I think perhaps 
you recognize that this person was dumb, that they didn't think things through. Maybe they were foolish and reckless and you know that, but that doesn't mean that you're completely over or that your emotions have completely stopped. I think you also want clarity with the sun. Let me see if I can get one more with the sun. Tell me about the sun, please. Tell me about the sun, please. The devil, Capricorn energy. There you are. Yeah, and it's funny because in this deck, you see how this person's kind of like trapped? I feel like you want to know, you want to have confirmation so that you can be free of this or perhaps not be so affected by this. I feel there's an attachment here that maybe you don't want to exist, but it does. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know about this person? Page of Wands. What do we need to know about Capricorn's person? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person wants an opportunity. I feel like they're just waiting for the right time. The Hermit, again, um, Virgo energy, but it's up right now. Queen of Cups. Justice. Yeah, okay, so Libra energy here with Justice. Um, with the Hermit, I'm getting someone that's still away from you. Um, someone that is keeping things to themselves. This is that hidden feelings energy. This person cares about you. I could tell you that much. Um, and I think they want an opportunity to make things right here with justice. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Hangman Reverse and the World. Yeah, this person definitely wants like a do-over. I wish I could go back in time. I wish I could do things over. For sure. I want to start over. Um, no longer I want to be stuck or not take action. It's like they want the opposite of that. Tell me about the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Ten of Wands. I think their guilt is a problem. Ace of Swords Reverse. Yeah, I think this is weighing on them. The fact that they haven't been honest or they haven't um, had this conversation with you. It's like a, a weight. They're not doing very well with the way that they feel. I don't think they're managing their emotions very well. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Eight of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Why is justice here? Ten of Cups reverse, Page of Swords reverse. Hmm. Bottom right of the deck, the Three of Wands, Seven of Wands reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse. This person doesn't have the courage, and I feel like they're procrastinating, hesitant um, to speak up. Despite the fact that, you know, Ten of Cups reverse, it's it's a heartbreaking situation, or, or this was, I feel also... You know, whatever happened between you and this person, Capricorn, it's not just like, oh, we're going to talk about it and everything will be fixed. I think it goes m much deeper than that. It would need to re it require like a lot of effort, a lot of time, energy with the Eight of Pentacles, but it's reversed, which tells me either this person's not ready to do this work or this is delayed or they're prevented from doing what needs to be done, possibly because they're not talking to you. Possibly because it would mean that they would have to come clean about something. Maybe they're afraid to tell you the truth about what happened or how they feel for a reason. I don't know why. It was, it's going to be different for all of you. But I feel like this is someone who they're not doing well. They're heartbroken, disappointed. They broke your heart or disappointed you. Um, and it was very, um, like it wasn't just like a little disappointment. Like this was huge. And I think when it comes time to like bring back justice, all of these cards are reversed, which tells me this is something that still needs work or is blocked somehow. 
And I feel like this person's making excuses or like just waiting around, possibly waiting for the right time. Um, but I don't think there is a perfect time. When, when, when something this big happens in a connection, there's no such thing as the right time. But for some reason, this person, even the Page of Wands is a small step. It's a small action, right? And this, this is, this is a step that they, it's like they want to make a small step to have something big in return, the world, you know? And I feel like it's going to take more than that. I hope I'm making sense. You know, it's, it's not going to take a page of wands. It's going to take a king of wands, an emperor energy to fix this. But I don't think your person's there yet. Let's see if we can get some insight into this person. Spirit, can I get more insight into this person that Capricorn is dealing with? Can I get some more insight into this person that Capricorn is dealing with? The elephant. Yeah, there's a huge obstacle in the way. And an elephant energy, something big is what's going to be, you know, the deciding factor here. I feel like this is also a big obstacle that someone has to go around. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Virgo, hermit energy. Again, the hermit shows up. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. What else do we need to know about this person? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I'm getting, you know, this is um, energy that has to do with action, passion, creativity. I feel like this is somebody, you know, it's almost like two two different energies here, like your person split in half. Because the Virgo energy is more about, you know, when we think of the Hermit, someone that's very reflective, they think a lot. Details are important, right? Whereas the Fire sign, it's more about what can I do? Not so much thinking, but what can I do? What can I create? What can I, what am I passionate about? What drives me? Whereas Virgo energy is more careful. So I feel like this is someone that's, you know, divided. And I think, you know, maybe they're thinking about their next actions. Maybe they're thinking about this obstacle that they need to face. Um, but I don't think that they've done anything yet. You know, I feel like they would need to break the silence first, you know? So let's find out, what are their true intentions towards you, Capricorn? Spirit, what is this person's true intentions towards Capricorn? What are their true intentions towards Capricorn? What do we need to know about this person's true intentions? Ten of Pentacles reverse. What do we need to know? So many tens. Tens, tens, I got two. Two tens here, and then I have the world as well. And the Wheel of Fortune is a ten. Tens are about completion, the end of something, the end of a cycle. They symbolize endings sometimes. What are their true intentions towards Capricorn? The Emperor reverse. See what I'm saying? Aries energy and the Knight of Cups reverse. So I feel like this person literally has no control over the situation or feels they have no control over the situation. They may be lacking courage. I think that this person's emotionally like messed up in the sense of like their emotions are all over the place, not very focused. Um, their intuition could be off, their judgment could be off. Um, maybe they're just too heartbroken, too messed up over what happened. Um, and so it's almost like they need to break out of that energy in order to even do anything. And I don't see them there yet. I see thinking. I see feelings here. I see heartbreak and disappointment. I see someone that isn't communicating what they should be communicating. They want a new beginning, but it's going to take more than just talking about it. And it's going to take more than just this page of wands. I feel like, like I said, it's going to take an emperor type of energy. Thank you so much to everyone that is so kind in the comments and is so supportive. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.